anyone who can't work from home, for instance, those in construction or manufacturing, should be actively encouraged to go to work. What I don't understand is why my daddy has to work on a construction site, working in close contact with other people. He's not a doctor or a nurse saving lives. He's not an essential worker doing essential work. On the exact same day that the government is forcing construction workers back onto unsafe building sites, the Office of National Statistics has produced figures saying that three times more construction workers have died from coronavirus than healthcare professionals. These body bags are a symbol of how the responsibility has slipped from Boris Johnson's desk onto the shoulders of men with hard hats on construction sites. We have too many big companies, especially putting profit before lives. That's a breach of their statutory duty of care. Non-essential work such as High Speed 2 is carrying on a pace. The government, the HSC and Public Health England must know that on site and as they travel to and from work, construction workers are exposed to and are unwitting carriers of the coronavirus. In my view, this is criminal negligence, it's manslaughter, it's social murder. Construction is a notoriously risky business. Accidents happen all the time. But accidents happening now just place increased strain on an already overstretched NHS. There will be no cliff edge to the furlough scheme. I'm working as we speak to figure out the most effective way to wind down the scheme and ease people back into work. We want to get people back to work, get our economy fired up again. If the government wants to protect public health, it needs to pay construction workers to stay at home. Self-employed and agency workers should be paid as well. Nobody should be left in poverty. We need to get our voice heard. We need to protest, organising collectively to get our message across. This is ludicrous, but it's like, because we're the bottom of the pile, they send us to work. I'm not a lab rat, I'm a human being. My name is Simon Hester. For 18 years, I was an inspector with the Health and Safety Executive under Section 7 of the Health and Safety at Work Act and Section 44 of the Employment Rights Act of 1996, you have the legal right to remove yourself from the workplace if you feel that your health and safety is put at risk, including by the virus. If you are working on a site, ask for your risk assessment, your COVID-19 risk assessment. I'm scared my daddy will bring the virus home, scared he will be ill, scared he will make my mummy, my brother ill too. Don't go in a site and get this thing that's going to kill you and kill your family. Please, please don't do it. Remember the dead! Fight for the living! My daddy is very important to us.